All right, now it's time to make a sheath for my son's hatchet. Um, I was lucky enough to meet up with a gentleman local in town. He's now retired, but he used to make horse saddles for a living. And he was able to give me some insight on how to sew with the uh, leather awl. I believe that's what the name is. And he let me a couple of his tools so that I could uh, do this. Um, he also was kind enough to give me a piece of scrap leather. The leather that I had originally bought was just, it was too thin and I needed something thicker. Um, so this is the size piece that I have to work with. Um, originally, I was thinking I could fold it over like this and then sew it, but I just don't know if that's going to put too much stress right here on this point. I think if I do that, I'm supposed to like scrape out some of the center. So what I think I'm going to do instead is cut out three pieces um, and just have it go in like this. And I'll have a, a spacer, sorry if I'm off camera there, a spacer in between. Uh, let me draw a picture and I'll, I'll show you a little bit better. Okay. He said always make it bigger than what you want because you can't make it bigger once you cut it. Alright, so what I'm going to do, you know, I'll cut it out and show you here in a second, but I'm going to cut out two pieces, um, it'll be full size like this, and then one piece which is just going to be the center, that'll be like the cheese in the middle of the sandwich. I'll glue that together, uh, then I'll poke the holes for the thread, sew it up. And then I'll put, uh, try to put some Chicago screws here and here, um, give it a little bit more strength. Um, and then this piece right here for the hatchet to slide in, uh, like the cheese part of the sandwich, I'll have to cut it a little bit so that the hatchet can easily slide in. So let me cut out the template and trace it onto here and cut some leather. So to give you an idea of my sandwich idea, this section right here will be cut out. And I'll have about a half inch, I guess, I don't know, the measure could be three eighths um, inside. And then this will slide in like this, and then I'll have a snap back strap go around the sheath. Um, next step is to cut this section out. Um, I was told by uh, Harry, the gentleman who lent me some tools, I need to rough up this leather here before I glue it. I'm going to glue this to here, and then this to here, and I'll keep it pressed. Um, and then uh, after I'm done sewing and everything, I'll be able to finish up these edges and make them uniform. So I let the glue dry overnight, and then I woke up this morning thinking about this project, and I was like, 
I forgot to put the darn snaps in before I glued these pieces together, so I'm going to have to carefully put these in and pound it, and hopefully I won't damage the other side when I'm doing the other side. I don't want to damage the snap. I'm going to take a blade and finish off this edge and then trim a little bit off here as well. Um, so that's what I've got going on so far. So a lot of the videos I've seen when people cut the leather, they do wet it down. So I just uh, put it in some water for a little bit to soften up the leather. Got a new blade, um, a utility knife. One thing I found out I didn't show in the video, after I'd cut the initial three pieces, I was experimenting with uh, just some scrap, and I found it was easier actually just cutting in to the smooth side of it rather than this side. It cuts went a whole lot easier. So now let's try to trim this up. nice cut. Now I'll trace the uh, outline of this. set of hands. First time stitching leather. I ran 
into a problem right about here. The thread that's coming through the needle like frayed and it was just half of what it was. So I, I, I finished out the stitching. You can see here is where it kind of got back together again. Um, I'm going to try to get this tucked in when I do the hammering down. And then I'll put those Chicago screws in there and there. And that should finish up that part. Might have to do another spin of these once the leather dries, but finished out the stitching. I've got to work on the uh, clasp thing, so it's going to be fun since I didn't, again, do it originally. Uh, the snaps when the leather wasn't separate pieces, but I think we can do it. And then once it dries, I'll they call it burnishing the ends, uh, rounding them off, making them, giving them a nice end there. All right, let's move on to the next step. I've seen some videos where people use the drill. I was originally using, or trying to use, uh, this leather punch, and I bought this off eBay a while ago. It was from a US shipper. I thought it was made in America, but it was actually made in China, but this thing just had catastrophic failure when I tried to use it, as you can see. It's just awful, awful. So, using a drill instead to make my holes. first sheath. I didn't get it tight enough here so I'm thinking when I wet it down again it'll um, shrink up the leather a little bit and snug it up but if not I mean that's going to protect the blade so nobody gets cut. Uh, next step will be uh, finishing up all of the edges. Well the last step is to finish off these edges. Um, you got to use something called a, a wood slick and some of this. You put a light coating on here and then you rub the wood over it and it smooths down the edges. So let me get to work on that. Got it all completed now. Um, lessons learned uh, whenever I try to attempt this again some other time. I'm going to cut on the smooth side rather than on the rough side because when I did that it was a whole lot easier to cut through the leather. And then I, I really need to carefully think out my design first because I had to put these snaps in after it was already glued together. That was a little challenging but I was able to uh, get it done. Uh, I think for my first time it turned out pretty good. Kind of looks like a first grader might have did the sewing. I know it's not professional looking but it was my first attempt. Well, uh, if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.